con el sol y las estrellas en el cielo en la tierra la lunita y las estrellas vuela con dosito vuela libre es por nosotros cuida mira to many, the ayahuasca experience sounds too good to be true. A magical plant drink that cures anxiety, disease, addiction, and improves overall quality of life across the board? Is this even possible? Do a pill to not have a headache for a day, but removing that headache for the rest of your life. Like that's the, this is real. This is really real. One of the most memorable things is uh, there was a woman who was purging a lot, and then after she was done purging, I was there for her, got her some tissue, gave her a sip of water, and then she wanted to go out and walk, watch the stars, you know, be outside, so I helped her outside. And then she stopped and looked outside like it was the first time she's ever seen the world. And then she told me, she said, I just purged out my cancer. Mm -hmm. And then she, after she went home, she ended up going to the doctor and, you know, the cancer was gone. A symptom-based level, these master plants go deeper and allow anyone to dive to the root of their challenges and solve them for good. Illness, addiction, depression, and the like all fade away when our consciousness is illuminated, shining bright on the subconscious ego that is damaging us without even knowing it. Before he could get a chance to duck out, his shaman invited him to take the medicine. Jerry looked at the shaman, looked at the medicine, and took it straight away. Joel appeared as a child version of himself and took adult Jerry on a journey through his past and showed him the roots of his cruelty today. As a young child, Jerry had suffered a horrifying abuse at the hand of a family member. The impact that it had on him was so intense that it disconnected him from the world and himself. This caused his heart to sour and then rot. His soul then guided him to face those responsible for his childhood trauma and to forgive them. This very act set the stage for everything to come because the forgiveness itself liberated Jerry from the pain of his past. And looked at him with a big goofy smile and said, happy birthday, man. And so Jerry received a new heart. And for the first time since he was a boy, genuinely felt love inside. The next morning he was a changed man and he found himself acting differently than ever before. Normally, he wouldn't care about anyone around him, but he suddenly found himself talking to the other people at the retreat, learning their stories. He was amazed by the miraculous change that he'd experienced in just one night. Over the next year, Jerry did countless ceremonies. Imagine the following scene. Hey, turn that music off. F you, dad. What did you just say? Good. Uh, uh, I, I said I love you, Dad. Damn right. Hello, darkness, my old friend. When this event takes place, the boy here is essentially swallowing his emotional turmoil. All of the anger and frustration from this experience is pent up and sealed away inside. And don't be mistaken, there is sealed up pain in the father too. As the boy lives his life, experiences like this happen in a number of ways. They have long lasting roots that dig into our subconscious, silently affecting our thought process, our decisions, and even our health throughout our lives. So what ayahuasca does is help you pull up those roots, releasing the emotional trauma that was built up within you. And as mentioned, there are a number of ways this can happen. There have been a few instances where I've heard people say things like, oh yeah, I was yawning for an hour straight and felt so much better afterwards. Or even, I danced the night away and now I feel amazing. Then again, sometimes it can get pretty crazy. Personally, I've had my share of violent purging to be certain. However, what I've learned is this. While it can sometimes be painful to go through, once that energy is out of you, healing and love quickly comes to those old wounds and you are free from the pain forever. That's the best experience I've ever in my life. And I, after that, my journey ended and I felt such a good feeling like this is it, I figured. Yeah, that was my best experience. 
ever in my life. I was like, what's it like to be Jesus? And I'm instantly taken into this experience where I'm being crucified on a cross and my back pain is just getting more intense. But as I'm realizing, because at first I didn't realize what was going on, but I'm realizing as I'm ascending and I'm feeling this feeling, I can see a crowd of faceless people, um, but I can see their energy bodies, and I could see this feeling of nothing but compassion and forgiveness. That was the only feeling, and there was zero pain. There was zero pain. As long as my awareness was on that, there was zero pain. It was about totally letting go. Like, it's just so beautiful. Like, life is so beautiful, and I never would have seen that if I wouldn't have come here and...